YouTube mistakes you can avoid and how to fix them. When starting or growing a YouTube channel, you make mistakes that waste you or your viewers time. These mistakes can easily be avoided if you know what to look out for. Stay tuned for the top YouTube mistakes you can avoid and how to fix them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to receive more video tutorials like this one every week. First, we're gonna deal with mindset mistakes. Number one, unclear purpose. If you aren't clear about why you wanna set up a YouTube channel, you'll soon lose interest and stop spending time creating videos. Instead, pursue a niche that you're passionate about. So on days that you lack motivation, you'll still have the drive to keep going. Number two, no goals. Goals are like a roadmap to your destination. If you don't set a goal for yourself or your YouTube channel, you'll take less and less action, which leads to lack of results. For example, your internal goal may be to have an impact on as many people as possible in your niche. Your external goal may be to generate 10,000 subscribers to your channel by the end of the year. Number three, no target audience. If you don't know who to target, then you'll create videos for people who aren't interested in your content. For example, if your niche is about running, you wanna create content that appeals to people who are interested in running. Number four, unappealing content. If your audience is not interested in your content, they're not gonna keep watching your videos. One of the best ways to create content that people are interested in is to type a keyword into the search box of Google or YouTube. You'll get a bunch of suggestions related to your main keyword. Number five, channel mistakes. Many beginner YouTubers forget to optimize their channel for their visitors. When people first visit your channel, they want to immediately know what your channel is all about. Therefore, create a channel banner and add a channel trailer that reflects the content that you're going to create. Include a description of your channel content on your about page. Also, organize the content on your home page so it's easy to find. Let's talk about video mistakes. Number six, improper camera use. Most people these days just use their iPhone to record video, but it needs to be high quality video that you record. For example, make sure that your whole body takes up the frame in the viewfinder. Also make sure that your eyes are level with the viewfinder and look straight into the lens of the camera instead of looking off to the side like this. Number seven, blurry shots. Your videos will be blurry if you don't focus on the object. To prevent that from happening, place an object in front of the camera and lock the focus of the camera. When you're ready to go, replace the object with yourself. Number eight, poor lighting. Poor lighting in your video will give the impression you don't know what you're doing. When I began making videos, I just went outside to use the daylight. Later on, I just pinned the bed sheet to the wall, then purchased a few cheap lights to light up the background. Number nine, lack of confidence on camera. If you speak softly and use a monotone voice, you won't keep your viewers engaged. When appearing on camera, you'll lose a certain amount of energy. So speak a little louder and vary the tone of your voice to keep your viewers engaged. Number 10, not looking into the camera lens. If I look to the side of the camera, it doesn't look like I'm actually talking to you. However, if I look straight into the camera lens, then it looks like I'm engaged with you. Number 11, bad audio. When I first created videos, I just used a built-in mic of my phone camera. This was a big mistake because I often got background noise, particularly if I was outside. If I was inside, the audio often sounded echoey or metallic. If you use an iPhone, I highly recommend the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone. It records great sound. Click the card icon to check out my review of the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone. Number 12, rambling. Avoid rambling in your videos. If you don't get to the point quickly, you'll soon lose your viewers. Use the first few seconds to hook your viewers. For example, you can say, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the YouTube mistakes to avoid and how to fix them. Number 13, no call to action. If you want to attract more viewers and subscribers to your channel, include a call to action by using end cards and end screens. Encourage viewers to watch related videos by including them in your end screen. Let's talk about video mistake. Number 14, lack of editing. Don't waste the precious time of your viewers by not editing it out the ums, ahs, ramblings, and mistakes made during the recording process. Use a video editor such as ScreenFlow for the Mac or Camtasia for the PC to edit out your mistakes or to spice up your videos. Number 15, poor thumbnails. Don't use the auto-generated thumbnails that YouTube produces. They won't make your video listings stand out in the search engines. Instead, create a custom thumbnail by using a free graphics editor such as Canva. Number 16, lack of optimization. Your video won't appear in Google or YouTube if you don't optimize it after uploading it to your channel. Make sure you include your main keyword in the title, description, and tags so it will be found on the search engines. Number 17, don't copy other channels. Avoid copying the channel art, thumbnails, title, description, tags 
of other channels. Instead, try to use your own unique voice and graphics to make your channel stand out from millions of others. Number 18, lack of promotion. Don't expect your video to go viral just by uploading it to your channel. Make sure you share it on your social media sites, embed it on your own website, and also join other groups and forums where you can share your videos. Avoid asking sub for sub when commenting on other channels. Most people that do this are only interested in getting a subscriber to their channel, but are not interested in your content. Number 19, don't buy subscribers and views. I often receive emails from companies who want me to purchase subscribers and views. YouTube frowns upon this practice and may suspend your channel, so it's not worth the risk. If you want to go the paid route, then it's best to create an AdWords for video campaign, which Google approves. Number 20, lack of consistency. You won't generate many views or subscribers if you only upload a video once a month. Try to upload a new video at least once a week on a consistent basis. Number 21, not monitoring channel performance. If you don't know how your videos are performing, you won't know how to improve them. Visit YouTube Analytics to see which videos are performing the best. You'll be able to see if people are actually watching your videos all the way through, known as retention rate, and what keywords they use to find your videos, known as traffic sources. There you have it, 21 YouTube mistakes to avoid and how to fix them. Let me know in the comments below any mistakes that I may have missed and how to avoid them. Click the card icon above to download my video upload checklist. You receive the 10 things you need to do before going live with your video on YouTube. If you want to receive more video tutorials like this one every week, hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you check out the related videos to receive more in-depth information. I'll see you in the next video.